Okay, so I did not have time to change. I actually just got home from filming one of the podcasts today, which is live on the other channel, my podcast channel. If you guys want to watch that episode, it's live right now. But yeah, that's why I'm in this nice Aloha shirt, dude, looking all dapper and whatnot. <laughs> I feel like I'm always in a gray t-shirt for these mystery boxes. So this is a good change of pace. Anyway, today we have a $1,825 mystery box, huge mystery box from Soul Supremacy. This box is right over here, 1825. Let's see what we got. So, no shoes without boxes in here. That's a good first sign. I'll grab this blue Nike SB box first. And the first shoe that we have is a size nine Nike Dunk Low SB. I don't know. <laughs> I'm completely clueless on this first shoe. This has to be a collab shoe. What is this? Varsity Blue Pink Ice. I don't see any markings or anything, but Honestly, this is not bad. I kind of like this. The leather on this feels pretty solid and I guess it is from, let's see, 2009. So it's a kind of older shoe now, but definitely worn uh, the pink laces. You know what actually makes this shoe pop not too bad. I kind of like this. The other option it looks like in the box is blue. This pink, I kind of like it. Good, interesting first shoe. I really have no idea what this is called, but it definitely reminds me of that Chun-Li colorway. I just wish I knew the exact term for it. And I do want to mention, if you guys want to buy any of these shoes, you will have to head to untiedhallway.com. Uh, shoes are only being sold to members now, so if you guys want to buy shoes there, you have to be a channel member. In order to be a channel member, there's a join button down below, so just click that. It does have all the information over there. And the shoes will always be for like very, very solid prices, which is why you guys saw that alternate pricing over here. Uh, this is the competitive market pricing, and over here was the price we're selling it for, untiedhallway.com. So you save a lot of money that way. You got to be a member though. Shoe number two, we'll grab this one black nike box size 10 nike dunk high it says oh these actually just released uh what is the name of this it's some kind of nba collab all-star indiana indianapolis all-star nba so i guess that's what it's called an all-star nike dunk high i don't know uh but it did come out just this year however this one is not brand new it has been worn. I'm not a big fan of Nike Dunk Highs and this colorway, uh, I mean, it's not the worst, but I don't like it because it has like this reflective material over here. Makes it look very glossy, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, the inside leather looks okay though. It's like this like blue mint kind of color. That's pretty cool, I like that. Not a lot of wear on the top. Toe box creasing is minimal and on the bottoms, not too much wear either. As I mentioned, it is a newer shoe. So you kind of expect that level of like wear. There's no way it could be like beat up when it just came out. Shoe number three, uh, we have an Air Force One box and this one size 12, it's kind of heavy. Rockefeller, I think I know what this one is. Yeah, so this is the Rockefeller Air Force One. These dropped back, I think in 2017, somewhere around there. 2017, good guess. So Rockefeller Air Force Ones, literally the classic Air Force One with one small detail change. On the back heel over here, you guys can see that Rockefeller Records logo. So that is the only thing that's embroidered on. I think everything else is kind of the same for this. Leather looks the same. Uh, on the inside sole, there is that same logo, but other than that, no other signs of a uh, collab shoe on this. Oof, where's all the good shoes at? Let's get this one next. Jordan 1 Mid, grade school sizing 4Y. Come on, something good, something good. Oh, okay. We got a pair of like Jordan 1 Breads, it looks like. And I want to say that this one is brand new, which would be great. Yeah, so brand new pair of Jordan 1 Mids in a kid size 4Y. Uh, it is a mid, so it's not gonna have as much value as the highs, but still, the colorway, it should have some decent value. And you guys can check this one out. It is literally the Jordan 1 bread colorway, but on a mid version, not on a high version. The leather, ugh, it doesn't look that good, to be honest, guys. This leather looks pretty bad. It feels very stiff, too, but that's kind of what you expect for, like, a grade school shoe. They don't use, like, the best quality leather on those. Uh, decent value on this, and because it is brand new, easy to sell, so that's a good thing. Uh, this next one, orange Nike box, Nike Dunk Low Disrupt, women sizing 8.5, so that's uh, seven men. Not another hype one either, so these disrupts, I have not seen this before. First time in hand, they feel solid. That's like the best feedback I can give you guys. They feel solid. Uh, looks wise, I'm not a fan. <laughs> you guys can kind of see why though. The sole is super, super huge on this. And the colorway, it's pink. Uh, it's not something that I rock. So yeah, not a big fan of this one overall. It does have like that foam tongue though. So it kind of gives off that off-white vibe. And also because of the fact that it like looks a lot different than your normal Nike Dunk. This one is brand new though. And yeah, I'm not sure what the price on this is. At least it's dead stock though. Can't complain about that. Next one, we'll grab this. It's an off-white box. We have a Women's Vapor Street. 
Size 13.5. Dude, we are... There better be some grails in here, man. We're behind. And this is not going to make it better. Oh, I am not liking this. <laughs> this one, dude. This shoe. I have had the hardest time selling these. And uh, it wasn't this particular colorway, but I'm sure this one will not move that well either. Because even though it is an off-white collab, it's just, it's so like outlandish of a colorway and like concept of a shoe that not too many people buy these, I guess. Even if it's going for under retail. That's how hard of a time I had selling this. Uh, so you guys can check it out over here. This is like that black and pink colorway. And the main thing that's wrong with this shoe, I mean the upper, eh, it is what it is. Like this is kind of what you expect from an off-white design at this point. It is covered like in all plastic though, which is kind of weird. Bottoms though, this is the issue. They're like spiked bottoms. They're supposed to be made for terrain, like hiking and stuff. And yeah, it's just kind of like too funky of a shoe, too crazy. And hopefully it doesn't sit on the website for too long. Uh, one of the cool things that I do want to mention to you guys, if you guys are channel members and if you guys are doing the channel members drops, they do happen weekly. And every time a shoe doesn't sell in the week for whatever reason, we end up dropping it the next week, but at $10 cheaper. So it keeps going like that until I guess eventually it will hit $0 and then somebody can get at that point for free hopefully they'll take it but yeah the price keeps going down by ten dollars every week until somebody does buy it so i'm assuming this one will probably last <laughs> i don't even know how many weeks hopefully somebody buys it before then but yeah another perk that i give the channel members makes it better to cop shoes uh i will say guys the last three shoes in this box is all nike sb so we're assuming something in here has to be pretty good i'm assuming Supreme SB Dunk, maybe a Jedi. Those are my guesses. I have not looked, but those are my guesses based off of the boxes. Because this is the first one, tape box series. And for the shoe, it's size nine. I don't want to look at the colorway. Size nine. Boom. Ah, it's it's not that good, man. Not that good. Uh, this is the When Pigs Fly or something like that. When Pigs Fly. I think that's what it's called. And it's a Nike Dunk High. Honestly, we got this one in a beater box not too long ago. They did sell very fast, so that's good. You can see why, though. It is an all pink upper, and it does have that silver swoosh over here. The material in the colorway, I guess, is okay. This one is from 2012, so it is a bit older. And yeah, we sold the last one pretty quickly, so I'm hoping the same for this. I guess I'll grab the other Tape Box Series SB. This time, it's a size 11.5. Uh, again, not too hyped. And this is the push head Nike SB, it says. I don't know if this is brand new. If it's brand new, that would be good. I don't see any sock land in here. These might be DS. And if it is, that's great. They will have decent value. Uh, you guys can't see on the back, there's a logo over here. The upper is pretty unique. It kind of gives like a, like a camouflage kind of vibe, I guess. Uh, there is some reflective material on here as well. Uh, no sock land in the shoe and also no creasings of any kind. Bottoms also have like no wear. So I'm assuming this is brand new DS. This is interesting. <laughs> so I guess all of these came with this bag. It's like literally just a Nike SB bag. Uh, it also has a size tag over here too. It's just a little bonus extra, I guess. But we want something with better value. Unless I'm completely wrong and this is worth like five, 600 bucks. The last shoe though, usually these have been like bangers in the past. It's the Pink Box series and we're hoping for something good. I still haven't seen a grail. I could be wrong and the value is just all over the place, but yeah. This one is a size 13, Nike Dunk Low. I did not see the colorway. There is a chance that this might be Tiffany SBs. Ooh, interesting. So, wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, we're in business now. This is a good way to end the box, guys. Uh, we got a dead stock shoe over here. And this is the Ray Gun, size 13, so a bigger size. And bigger sizes and SBs are rare, so uh, this one might go for a lot of money. And also, it is brand new dead stock. Lace bag is still attached, making it very, very coveted. So this could be essentially a lot of money. You guys already know what the Ray Guns is. Uh, it is a shoe that was released a while back, and it had a re-release recently. It is in DS condition, brand new. But I do see, like, I don't know a little, what this is. Maybe a little bit of scuffing or, like... There's some kind of like black on here. So I don't know if that's still considered DS. If you guys are buying this, be aware of this. That's like the only like flaw I would say. Bottoms though, perfect. No cuts or tears on the upper. It is brand new DS and I know this one is a popular model. So this has the potential in a big size to six, 700 would be my guess on the counter. Probably going for less on untitledway.com though. So that is definitely a good way to end it. DS shoes, always good to have in a beater box. Uh, but yeah guys, that was a weird one. We had nine shoes in this box, kind of a lot. 1825, I usually expect like a little bit more hype in these boxes, but Nike SBs are really hard to tell. The market keeps fluxing so much with them that you really don't know what the buying price is gonna be. So it will be interesting to see how fast these sell, but if you guys do wanna buy any of them, again, don't forget to become channel members. There's a join button down below. 
all the information is over there. The shoes are going to be going for very, very good prices. So check that out if you guys want. And also check out the podcast channel if you guys are interested in more content. I am posting on there like bi-weekly. So there's a lot of episodes on there that are coming up. Really cool guests. If you guys are from Hawaii, you probably know them. If you're not from Hawaii, mm, you might know them, you might not. But still, it's very good content, really good conversations. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Subscribe over there. It's also on Apple Podcasts and Spotify as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that like button before you guys leave. And until next time, guys, stay humble, stay blessed, take care, and I will see you on the next episode. Aloha. Shoots.